Vatos Locos Forever Hey, hey, Vatos Locos Off the studio, let's go ahead and take off YouTube, I'm officially back today. Today is vlog number 14. It's a super cool day today. Why is it cool today? Because I know it's vlog 14, I'm a little late on the video we're about to make today, but I'm getting a lot of emails and a lot of responses of people asking me, how did you get started? So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of my history, my past, where I got started, who I got started with, where I met this person, and why I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm 18 years old, I'm in college, I have a break in between two of my classes and I go to Guitar Center. At Guitar Center, this was a weekly thing for me. Every Wednesday, at a three hour break, I'd be on the keys, playing anything from church stuff to Brian McKnight at the time. Why? Don't ask me. Playing, uh, oh my God. You know, typ typical piano guy stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just in there, I go play the drums, I play whatever, you know, so I'm just messing around. And then, so one day, Frankie J walks in. I'm gonna try to get my boy Frankie J on FaceTime. Vatos Locos forever, I say. Hey, hey, Vatos Locos. What's up, boss? Chilling, man. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, man. Um, sorry I wasn't able to, to hit you up earlier, bro, because I got into this uh, unexpected session. And, uh, you know, when you get into a session, bro, you're like moving and vibing and all that stuff. So, yeah. I didn't want to end, dude. I couldn't end. I was like, no. But dude, what's going on with you? Talk well, to me. Well, like, I started doing a bunch of vlogs lately. And then recently, like, I'm having a lot of people come into the studio and help me out. Like, anything from employees to interns, you know. And I'll lightly tell my story. They ask me, because, you know, I'm, like, a little older now. I'm, like, 32. You know, and they're like, how'd you get started? Like, how do you do all of this stuff? And... And I'll start telling them, like, man, it's funny, it all started at Guitar Center. And I'll just tell them real quick, and they're like, damn, that's crazy. You know, it'd be really dope if you did a vlog about that. And instead of me telling that part, I wanted to hear, like, if it was coming so from you. Hear, you want to hear, like, my perspective of how. Your perspective on what, why did you choose me? Like, what did you see? Okay. What did you hear? First of all, I needed to go buy uh, some equipment. I needed to go buy some, a drum set, and I needed to go buy some keyboards. While we were there at Guitar Center, I went into the keyboard section. I just remember looking at a motif. As I'm looking at this motif and I'm playing the sounds on the motif, I see you. You had your back towards me. I started hearing through the bleeding of the monitors, you playing some chords. He's like, hey, so can you play, you know, this song? And I think he told me to play Priming Night and I played it right there. I just... And so I'm playing the record, he's just like, he starts singing. And I'm like, dang, tight, this dude's really good, right? Some other guy starts walking up behind him, hey, do you want to get the orange drums or the red drums? You know, and I'm like, what are you doing or what? He's like, well, Steve-O, I'm about to go on tour. I have this song called Sugar Sugar, How'd You Get So Fly? Have you ever heard of that song? Sugar, sugar, how you get so fly? Yeah, I'm like, I have heard that song, as a matter of fact. He was like, well, that's my record, my and Baby Bash's record, and we're getting ready to go on tour. I go, hey man, I'm looking for a keyboard player. I go, would you be interested in coming on board? And you just kind of looked at me like, what? Like, for <laughs> them? And me, you know? I just remember that, that look. And, and um, I remember I said, yeah, man, I said, it's an emergency and I really need somebody to, to go, you know, out on the road with us. And we're literally a week and change away from going on tour. I'm about to go on tour. I go, what What do you think? And you just looked at me and you're like, well, uh, I, I just graduated high school and uh, I'm going into college and, you know, I need to ask my mom. I need to ask my parents. I remember you said that. I need to ask my mom because, you know, I'm only 18. That was like a big, like, wow for me. So let me go home and ask my dad. You know, I'm 18 years old, I'm in college, like, I can't just do what I want, or I mean, I could, but I can't, you know what I mean? I got love for my folks like that, so, you know, I was like, let me go home, let me get your number, let me talk to my parents, and I'll let you know tonight. Long story short, I go back to school, I Google search this guy, I realize how big he is, I go home, and I'm freaking begging my dad, like, dad, please, if you don't let me go, I'm gonna always be like, I had an opportunity and I never took it, and it was because you didn't let me, so, 
I don't know about your parents, but my parents were like, man, you can't put that on me. Are they gonna pay you? And, and, and I was like, yeah, I think they're paying me like 500 bucks a week. And my dad was like, well, damn, damn. Damn, son. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Like 18 years old, making $2,000 a month. It was a no brainer. One day, Frankie J decides to start working on another album. And dog, the next tour, the next year or two, I think I was 2021, we worked on Obsession at Happy's house. And it went freaking platinum out of a bedroom, bro. We man, we ended up we ended up being we ended up going to Sony, New York, or where LA, wherever that was and I think we recorded it in New York. Yeah. It was recorded in New York and then uh we did the yeah. AOL Spectans in LA. Uh, remember the AOL Regis and Kelly, we did TRL, we did Desperta America, Good Morning America, I think you did Jay Leno. Uh, That's right. did all that stuff, dude. And you've gotten to also flourish in your own production and business. But then again, you also sacrificed, dude. You sacrificed, yeah. which that's what it takes. Just any, any new songs or anything you got coming up? For those of you who already know, um, you know, you guys know about Tuna Vest, which is, you know, playing scales, featuring myself. Uh, Cap G and Becky G. Nice. Uh, that's the, the Spanglish version of Sunaves. And the Spanish version of Sunaves, which is a cover of Selena, uh, has um, We Seen and Leslie Grace. And that's already out on iTunes. Nice. Both of the versions, well, the English, the Spanglish version comes out on Friday, which is tomorrow. Um, and the Spanish version is already out, so go get that. So go out there, go support it, go download it, go check it out. Before we leave, can you uh, can you tell everybody your Instagram and your Facebook and your YouTube and yeah. what, what is it? Well, you guys can follow me on my Twitter. It's the real Frankie J. Follow me on my Instagram. It's the real Frankie J. Follow me on my Snapchat. It's I'm Frankie J. The letter I, the letter M, Frankie J. And uh, follow me on my Facebook. It's Frankie J Official. That's where you guys can find me. It's your boy Frankie J, Steve O Valdez in the building. You already know what it is. Thank you, brother. I'll see you later, man. I love you, boss. Peace. Peace. Love you too, man. Yes, sir. I want to tell you guys that if you're a producer in your bedroom, if you're a photographer at home shooting flowers or dogs or your family outside, you're making beats for your friends, for your family, and you're just getting started, and maybe you're reaching a point where you feel like, man, I'm frustrated. Is this really ever gonna happen? Is this a dream? Should I go to school instead? Should I not go to school? Should I follow my dream? Should I do both? Should I do one over the other? Don't just have a dream, but don't put in the work. Put in the work, because as they always said, and I think I've said it before, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. If you're out there and you're a producer in your bedroom, you're a photographer that's just getting started. You're someone with a craft and a skill that you have and you really don't know how to monetize it. You really don't know how to get started. Shoot me a message. Leave me a comment. Send me an email. My email is steveovaldez at officestudiohouston.com. I'm going to respond to you as best as I can. Comment, subscribe, follow all of the handles that are written right here at the bottom. You got Steve Valdez. You got Instagram. You got all this stuff going on. Office Studio. But make sure you follow me. You follow my team. I got my boy HTX Goo behind the camera. I got my boy Elias Cantu behind the camera today. And they're going to be editing the video today. So just make sure you follow all of us. You kind of keep up with us. We're going to stay big till forever like Manny Fred said. I'll let your boy. Some little kid. Man, it's damn dog. Son, where'd you find this?